Hey there, Sartin here. Um, as you can see, I um, claimed my day one rank one against the Shark Moth of Unknown Origin. Um, it, I don't think I've ever actually done a rank one on day one, but uh, this one was pretty fun. And since I pulled for the new, uh, the new unit, Abigail, um, Abigail does make this fight a little bit easier. It's still not an easy fight by any means, but um, she certainly makes this fight easier and, and allowed me to get my rank one here on day one. So let's figure out how we got it done. Go ahead and turn on these mods. All right, here's the team that we're working with. Um, obviously, Abigail is MVP. Um, Sylvie, of course, uh, bringing up some buffs. She's got the big in in insect killer buff for 2B. Uh, Chizuru brings her own 250% insect killer buff, which is nice. Um, Tsukiko for the fire in peril field. Um, and then we've got uh, Roberta, of course, for the fire imbue with the 45% amps, um, as well as bringing the Aquan Killer. And then we've got 2B, who's just bringing some damage. All right, so um, really Chizuru and 2B are the primary damage dealers here. Of course, Tsukiko and um, Roberta kick in a little bit, but you know. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get straight to the fight because there's a chance that we might die on turn one. It's just sort of RNG, uh, but Turn one's really the only turn where you have to worry about that sort of RNG factor. After that, if we get past turn one, we're good. Um, so let's go ahead and get in there. All right, so to start off with, Sylvie's gonna go ahead and put up some mitigations with Elemental Vines, Compassionate Knight for Break Resistance, Ailment Resistance, all that jazz. Burgeoning Defense for the 85% Gen Mitt. Skiko will do Blessed Omomori, Prayer of Protection, and a Purging Mandala Fire to set up that fire in Peril Field. All right, Abigail is gonna start, we'll do Drone Cover. Now she has an auto cover, so you could theoretically just, um, you, you could theoretically just uh, guard on this, but we don't have a good uh, magic breakup, so she's gonna have to use her mag break here. And then we'll come down to do SP drone type L for the light buff. And I think it's her 200% light element resistance buff. All right, um, Roberta's gonna come in and do Rousing Roar, Aquatic Killers, and Inferno Breath for the fire abuse. All right, um, 2B will just do Avoid, and then any one of these two skills for some morale fill. Chizuru will do Strong Samurai, Staunch Samurai, and then come down and do Focus Spirit for the 85% Magic Mitigation. Now, Abigail still, mu still might die. We're just going to have to find out, right? <laughs> All right, we're doing the best we can here. All right, come on, don't kill my girl. All right, there you go. So now we're hopefully, you know, hopefully I don't make any more mistakes and uh, and we're good to go from here. Like I said, it's fairly tame from here on out as long as we do everything right, okay? Um, so we will just go ahead and do uh, some more morale fill here with elemental petals and vines, paladins resolve. All right, um, Abigail. Oh, what am I doing? All right, Abigail, we'll come down here to do contingency phase, contingency plan phase one. This is going to set up those ramping uh, barriers uh, for the party and for herself. I will do SP, tr SP drone type F plus, um, and this does a 500, sorry, 200% fire buff, uh, resistance buff to herself. And then we'll just uh, re-up her cover and make sure that that is good. All right, Spico is going to come in and go ahead and do a triple, uh, triple firestorm, so we can get that her uh, Magnus charged up. Roberta is going to go ahead and do her LB for the three hundred percent LB buff. Um, 2B will go ahead and do her Brave Shifted uh, Limit Burst, and Chizuru is going to do Insect Pulverizer for the Bug Killer. All right. Um, and we'll go ahead and chain this up a little bit, just do a little bit of damage. It's just going to be like 5 or 6%, not much. 
Um, as you can see, morale is not an issue in this fight. We are um, certainly, or at least not with this team. As you can see, we're going to hit 200 probably by next turn. Um, so yeah, it's not, not a big deal at all. All right, so there you can see there, there was like one or two normal attacks. Sylvie is our passive provoker here, um, and she does have a blizzard orb, so she might counter here and there. It's pretty rare um, to see a normal attack, to be honest with you. It doesn't really happen that often, so don't rely on it. Don't think like, oh, yeah, I can just have uh, Sylvie re-raise my party all the time. It's, it's fairly rare to see that. All right, so Sylvie's going to shift. Uh, she's going to put beaten insect on 2B. Uh, and then a Clever Paladin Strike for the Sword Imperil. That is for Roberta, because she's wielding the Dark Vision Sword. And then Cheerful Paladin for some Morale Fill. Now, the boss actually does not have a Defense and Spirit buff up here, so you could actually do some considerable damage on this turn, but we really don't want to. We're, the boss has a uh, stable three-turn rotation, and when you pass the 50% threshold, it resets that rotation, and so you can kind of... Um, you can kind of tune your uh, your own rotation to make sure the boss does what you want it to do by passing that threshold on a specific turn. And that's what we're going to do. We want to push it on turn six um, for the easiest clear. All right. Um, Abigail is going to do anti-magic, anti-physical, and drone cover, just re-upping all that stuff. All right. Um... So I've got that uh, that special card from the Ayaka Step Up banner, uh, so that um, Tsukiko can do a, a magic store. If you don't have it, use Magic Boost Plus. That works just as well. All right, Roberta will do another Rousing Roar. Um, we'll do another Inferno Breath, just to make sure we're always imbued with fire, and a Mega Breath to unlock the Quadcast and get ready for next turn. All right, Chizuru and 2B are both just going to do Tyvus' Spirit. Okay, so it's going to do a gravity attack and some fixed damage. That's like one of the deadliest turns is when that happens. Um, and that's why you want the barriers. That's where the barriers come in handy, right? Um, and so, you know, it does the 90% HP and then does a 20,000 fixed attack. Uh, and that can, be, that can be pretty devastating to your team um, if you're not prepared for it. All right, Abby's SLB is ready, so we're going to go ahead and use it. Pal and Sylvie will also do her Brave Shifted LB on this turn. We're going to do a pretty um, hefty chunk of damage on this turn. We want to get it to around 60%. We want to get it, you know, we want to get it close enough that we feel comfortable that we can push the 50% threshold when we want to on turn 6. Okay, uh, but we don't want to get anywhere close to that 50% threshold. So I'm hoping we'll get somewhere around 60% on this one. All right. All right, we'll let Roberta start up and wind up the chain. And send the rest. Perfect. All right. So that was perfect, right? Um, the boss has a 50% defense and spirit buff, so that should give you some idea of whether or not you're going to hit the damage cap on turn 9 when it has no defense and spirit buffs up. All right, so we're doing 2 billion now, so we should definitely be hitting that damage cap on turn 9 when we do our, our big burst. All right, so this turn we're just going to kind of chill out. Um, we don't want to do too much damage to the boss here. All right, um, I am going to recharge um, Tsukiko's Magnus. All right, Roberta's just going to do her LB again so that we're all buffed up and ready to go for the remainder of the fight. Um, I'm going to have, because uh, these need two more turns to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do Precise Prediction, so that way... When 85% mitigation runs out, we at least still have the 80% mitigations up and running. All right, and I'm, I'm just going to double check her, um, 
elemental resists. Yeah, we're still good on those, so we don't need to re-up those. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. We're just going to re-up all these so that we don't have to worry about these for the remainder of the fight. Okay, re-up our mitigations. Um, and then we'll do some morale fill with this one. 2B is just going to do pod charge, just so we're not dealing, you know, any any significant damage on this turn. Okay, and that should be what we want to do. We're not going to do any kind of chaining. All right, Chizuru will tag chain here, but um, it's, it shouldn't be enough to push 50%. All right, perfect. All right, fairly harmless turn. All right, so on this turn, we're pushing the threshold because we want to reset the rotation because otherwise it does that chimeric rage and that's kind of like a dangerous turn to have that going on. Um, and so we're going to push the threshold now. It doesn't have any defense and spirit buffs up either, so it should be fairly easy to push. Now, you're going to notice that we're going to go, um, that the HP lock is not working. We're going to go past 50%, probably as far down as 40%. I'm assuming they're going to fix that at some point, but this strategy should still work even if the HP lock was active. So don't worry too much about that. All right. I will re-up our Aquan killers. Um... Yeah, Aquan, and uh, we'll go ahead and do our Insect too, why not? And then, actually no, Sylvie's going to take care of that, never mind. We'll do Aquan, uh, Inferno, and Mega Breath. Alright, um, so Kiko's actually going to come back, re-up her bless, uh, Blessed Omomori, Prayer of Purification, and Prayer of Protection. Sylvie's going to shift. All right, she's going to go ahead and do Beaten Insect on 2B. All right, and then um, we'll do Clever Paladin Strike and, yeah, Cheerful Paladin Strike for some Ralphil. Um, all right, we will re-up all this stuff. Next turn, we're going to re-up the, the drone type and the contingency plan. All right, she should still be good on all of her buffs. Yep. All right, so she's still good there. That's great. Okay. So, ba ba ba. We're going to. Mm, yep. Okay. Pretty sure this is what I want to do. Just double checking myself. All right. So see, the HP lock is definitely not working as it should. And like I said, I assume that'll get fixed, but don't worry, the strategy should still work uh, in case that happens. All right, Abigail is now gonna re-up her Drone type L, contingency plan. Okay, and we're gonna come up and do what is going on? Why are you bugging out? All right, come back. Drone type L, contingency plan, and bar fire Raja, just to make sure she is fully covered on all of her elemental resists. Because once you're below 50%, it starts doing a lot more elemental type damage. Fire and light with a 200% imperil to both. So you definitely want to make sure you're covering your bases there, okay? She will get her uh, SLB up again next turn because she's only X2. She should should still have 80% mitigations uh, as well as all of her uh, racial mitigations up, the 30% ones at least, okay? Sylvie's going to go ahead and do her LB now to prepare for... Um, actually, no, what am I doing? What am I talking about? We've got to get rid of all the Mirage stacks. So Sylvie's, all of Sylvie's uh, attacks are two parts, so each one gets rid of two stacks. So by triple casting this, she will get rid of six stacks of Mirage. The boss has 10, okay? So just keep that in mind. 
All right, um, so I don't really need to do anything here, do I? We can just do some morale fill, I think. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can just do some morale fill. Or we can just hit it. Eh, let's just hit it. Hit the boss. Hmm. Okay. Um. Roberta. Alright, we'll re-up our Inferno Breath. Aquan Killer. And, um, Draconic Triune. But we're going to save that for after. Tubi does her Brave Shifted Limit Burst to make sure we fill it back up. All right, Chizuru will now do the Insect Pulverizer again. Okay, um, just double checking myself once again. <laughs> yep, okay. All right. You're not gonna see any chains because it's miraging all the physical damage, no problem. All right, in pretty good shape here. This turn should be pretty tame. All right, now she's gonna get her SLB back up and running. <laughs> Obviously you can see I've got some counters on her <laughs> for LB fill. <laughs> All right, once again, 2B does Tyvus' Spirit. Chizuru will do a Tyvus' Spirit. Roberta. Um, yeah, we'll just re-up all this stuff. Aquatic, Rousing. Um, Sylvie will do Beaten Insect to 2B and a couple more Clever Paladin Strikes to make sure that all those Mirage stacks are gone. Sukiko will Store. Okay, and that should be, yeah, should be good. Um, I'm just going to double check and make sure that we get rid of all those Mirage stacks. Yep, perfect. Nice. Um, and before I forget, I'm going to just use a couple of the, um, the morale skills, namely the, the defense and spirit one, and the fire and light resistance buff. All right, so Abby should be very well covered. She should take very little damage. The team should take very little damage. We should be good to go in for the kill next turn. Perfect. All right, and yeah, she'll pretty much heal everybody back up. All right, and uh, we should kill on this turn. Uh, I've been doing like, you know, between 2.8 and 3 bill on this turn with this team. Um, I think from 40%, you only need to do like 2.5 probably to kill from 40%. So hitting the damage cap should kill from this point. Now, remember that you might be sitting at 49% if the HP lock actually worked. So you might need to do a little bit more damage to kill, but then you just finish it off on turn 10. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. All right, Abby is going to triple bolting strike with Tsukiko. Roberta will quad, not Inferno Breath. She will quad Mystic Breath. Chizuru will shift. Do Brave Shift LB. 2B will shift. Do Brave Shift LB. All right. And just like before, Roberta starts us off, gets the chain going, and then everybody else kicks in. And for some reason, my 2B decided to wait. Hopefully, we still get it all in. Yeah, I think we should still be good there, even though I messed up the, uh, the taps on that one. Wow, that was a low roll. Uh, still got it done, though. 2.6. There you go. Damage cap.
Like I said, typically I'm doing like 2.8 to 2.3. That was a pretty low roll for my team. I did kind of mess up my clicks there a little bit. Um, that might have had something to do with it, but I still got the full chain in, so I think I think that was just a low roll. All right, so there you go. Perfect score um, to be carrying the fight as usual. Um, she's my strongest DPS that I have, so yeah, there we go. All right, easy peasy. Let's see what we got. Don't want it. Thank you very much. All right, so I'll just quickly go over the gear here and show you how we did this. Um, so Sylvie is, um, you know, pretty much just like typical gear that I have her in class. She's got the Dancer's Diadem. Just make her passive provoke. She doesn't really need anything. She just needs to be passive provoke. A Blizzard Orb is nice, but like I said, you didn't really see too many counters from her. Um, just give her, make sure she has decent uh, defense or make her 100% evade either one. So just passive provoke, evasion, that's all she really needs. You can give her some counters if you want, but she's just here for support. Um, Abby is of course the main tank. Um, so, you know, here's the gear that I used. Um, here are the resistances that I have her at. Remember this is before uh, I've, I've done the mods. So if you put up all the mods, you're gonna see all of these uh, 100% less than what you're seeing here. All right, um, but yeah, 375 fire, 335 light. Um, this is the gear that I used to achieve that, and that made her perfectly immune. Didn't even have to worry about imperils or anything like that. I am using the new card. Um, obviously, if you pulled for Abby, you probably pulled for this card. Works very, very well, thanks to having all these nice elemental resists on it. Um, and it's got a nice uh, bit of HP with that 2000 HP, always nice. Um, so yeah, nothing really shaken there. Pretty simple build. All right, uh, choose zero in a normal form. She is built for a bit of damage. Um, oh, but I, as you can see, I forgot to swap the killers. It's not really necessary to build her for damage in this form. Um, in her brace shift form, however, very important. So, you know, got some clash will, or sorry, some clash gear in there. Um, make sure she's got uh, plenty of killers. I gave her Wilkes card, um, mainly because I thought morale, it would help out with the morale generation, but it's probably not necessary. So just your best card in there for her will be fine. Um, she's not even capped on killers. She's missing 25% shy on aquatic, 50% on insects. So you could probably even do even better on this build, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's just what I gave her. Okay, so you could probably do a little bit better on that one. Uh, so Kiko, in her normal form, Empress's Rod and Treasure Memorial Ring for that turn one uh, morale fill. But as you can see, morale's not an issue here, so it's definitely not necessary um, for the, for this fight. You're going to hit 200% morale. Even if you didn't have this gear, you'd hit 200% morale well before you reached your burst turn. So don't sweat it if you don't have it. Um, and then just, yeah, standard evoker gear in her brace shift form to make sure she, her evoke stats are all up there. Um, this is the that special card with the boost ability. Like I said, if you don't have it, just give her magic boost plus. That's Dark Reign's TMR, um, and that will work just fine. Uh, Roberta, I did give her the um, the Dark Visions sword. Um, I don't think it's necessary. You you don't necessarily need it. Um, if your units are strong enough, uh, you're going to hit the damage cap even without it. So, um, but yeah, that was just I wanted to give her the best shot at doing some damage on this one. Uh, so yeah, here's the gear that I gave her. She hits the killers really easily. Um, so I don't really need a whole lot of gear for the killers because she has those innately. Um, but yeah, just as much mag as you can give her. Dark Vision Sword is nice if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, 2B, full on damages. You know, she's carrying the fight, her and Chizuru here. Um, so as much clash gear as I could give her, the uh, Dark Vision's Katana. It's not necessary, you can give her her own TM STMR and that will work here just fine. As you can see, um, you know, this team is definitely, on average, is doing about three billion overkill. Okay, you saw a low roll, uh, but you know, like I said, on average, we're doing a fair bit of overkill. So Dark Vision's equipment, definitely not necessary. I think an EX2 2B will work just fine here. Um, and nothing really going on. I just made sure she was confused resistant, but um, I actually don't think it's necessary because we have Sylvie to take care of that uh, anyways. So, but um, she is built for a little bit of damage here, um, but it's, it's not really necessary, okay? Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, this boss is, with, with Abby, this boss is fairly 
tame. Um, it still takes a little bit of, of working out. You know, I had to work out a rotation. I wasn't, wasn't really sure how she worked. And it was kind of fun figuring out a new unit, figuring out how she worked, uh, especially against this fight. But um, if you have Abby and you can figure out how to make her work, um, there, there's really a lot of different possibilities as far as damage dealers uh, are concerned. I've seen some ice teams out there. Obviously, obviously you could go light element if you have both of the near units and you want to go light. Um, that would definitely be a good choice. So a lot of different options here. Um, but fire was the one that I chose and it worked well enough for me and hopefully it'll work for you too. So thank you guys for following me. Um, best of luck out there with your clash of wills. Um, and I will try, I'll, I'll try some different teams next week. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be working on some things over the weekend, see what I can come up with. And so stay tuned, might have some different clears for you guys next week. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you on the other side.